Hello, Alicia. Good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, uh, I, do you hear any? Well? Yeah, it's better. Okay. Um. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But before that, uh, let us introduce first. Uh, so we have Kamil Sobolewski, uh, Chief Economist of Employers of Poland Organization, the largest one. We have Daniel Krajewski, a solicitor, managing partner in MWDK Lofen, an expert in MAS and capital markets, and myself, Krzysztof Łuczak, uh, CEO of Cloud Services Software House Company, and uh, been a part of the Blue Media Group a large payment operator in Poland. Okay, so how do you feel? I'm stressed, but I think it's normal. Okay, so let's start with your presentation first. Okay, thank you. So, uh, good afternoon, my name is Alicia Sitarska, and for my presentation today, I would like to focus on two personal qualities that I have been cherishing and actively developing in myself as I'm striving towards my personal growth. And through the lens of these traits, I hope to present you with a complete picture of who I am, not only as a student, but also as an individual. One of these qualities is my ambition, which I'm cultivating particularly in the field of my linguistic abilities. At the moment, I am focused on learning free from languages. I am mastering my English skills while also attending German lessons at school and taking additional classes in Spanish. My interest in language learning developed in the seventh grade when I began learning Spanish as a hobby. And by the following school year, as a result of my consistency and genuine interest, I had achieved a level that allowed me to become a laureate twice in the National Light Olympus subject Olympiad for Spanish. And during that same period, I also received the same distinction in the English category. The experience I gained through the preparation process has been invaluable for me as I am now preparing myself towards uh, my further language exams. In addition to language learning pursuits, during my years in primary school, I also embraced new challenges by engaging in various social activities. For years, I have been co-creating the school's newspaper covering cultural curiosities. And uh, such topics exploration opened up new doors for me. And as a result, I had the opportunity to take part in a conference with Polish traveler, Mark Kaminski, conducted by youth on behalf of the Koderak group in which I volunteered. Uh, on top of that, from my early age, I have been deeply interested in science. Within the framework of regional initiatives, I have attended numerous workshops or lessons organized by well-known institutions, such as the Faculty of Chemistry at the Warsaw University of Technology or the Faculty of Biology at the University of Warsaw. And the experiences I've had in this field steered me towards selecting a particular path in my education rather than any other. Owing to my accomplishments and preparations, I got into my current school, hoping to pursue my scientific interests on a profile corresponding to my needs. I hope to become a doctor, and I know the path I chose will be challenging, yet I can clearly see my goals, and I will continuously try to pursue them, just as I have done before. And while I have that clear idea of my educational direction, I am still open to learn and explore new topics beyond my primary focus, which leads me to present my second crowning trait, which is my open-mindedness. My flexible mindset has been shaped mostly by my hobbies, such as figure skating or participation in extracurricular activities. Um, so, I make use of my language skills and social skills by participating in Oxford debates, which provide me with occasions to expand my knowledge on certain matters. Uh, and I have always valued the ability to express myself in a discussion, which is why this year I was pleased to represent my school at the Musketeers of World tournament in Bydgoszcz, where with our team we participated in debates entirely in English. And now, in collaboration with my teammates, we are arranging our own competition in debating. Uh, in school initiatives, I find a way to express my artistic interests too. Uh, last month, I coordinated a team of graphic designers responsible for media coverage of our school's open day. And uh, the field of graphic design has been a constant companion for me, as recently I have had the chance to, for instance, develop an entire visual and logo for the newly formed Icar Space Club. 
And apart from that, I would like to mention a significant element of my life, namely film and photography. I have been actively involved in providing documentation of events at my school for two years now. And uh, lately, I also began doing my own photo shoots. Recently, with a group of friends who share my interests, we have formed a team and began working on a bigger scale, realizing projects such as uh, video transmissions, short films, or documentation of local events. And we are now seeking further opportunities to expand our knowledge, maybe gather new experiences. And I believe that the Silicon Valley is a melting pot of creative energy. And a trip to such place could develop my ambitions further, but also enhance my open-mindedness with fresh and valuable experiences. And perhaps it could also have a positive impact on the areas of my life that are yet to be discovered. Uh, la ambición es el primer paso hacia el éxito, el segundo paso es la acción, as Roberto Gazeta once said, meaning uh, ambition is the first step towards success, the second step is action. And I honestly believe that a trip to Silicon Valley could motivate me to take even greater action towards achieving my goals. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you, Alicia. Uh, Camille, may maybe you will ask the first question. Okay, Alicia, thank you very much for the presentation. It was very interesting and it gave us insights into things that were not mentioned in your uh, written uh, part. So thank you for that. Uh, my question is about chemistry and biology because you mentioned a lot about a lot about your activities at school and about photography and stuff like that. But I'm uh, as you as you mentioned also, you want to become a doctor. Yes. Tell us more about your interests in your in the scientific field. Thank you. Uh, okay, so as I also said, uh, I'm constantly evolving and searching for new knowledge in this field. Uh, I am attending a class of extended biology, chemistry and maths. Uh, and I honestly can't tell which one I like more because uh, it's a profile just for me. And uh, recently I also, for example, took part in some lessons that were organized at the Warsaw University of Technology. And at my school, we also have constant contact with uh, the, for example, chemistry. Uh, each semester we have to write a research paper and I really enjoy that because it gives me more insights into the fields that I want to learn about. And yeah, I think I am pretty active in that sphere too, but I wanted to also emphasize, just as you said, that apart from what I wrote in my letter, I have also other interests that are valuable for me as a person. Thank you. Daniel? Thank you. Uh, I would like uh, to understand what kind of doctor uh, you, would, you would like to be. Uh, Okay, uh, so I would like to be a neurologist, preferably. I haven't chosen my specialty yet, but if I had to determine myself right now, it would be this one. And why neurologist? Uh, because I believe that our mind has an undiscovered potential. And I want to be a person who could somehow um, discover it more and have an impact in this sphere. Yeah, I think that's the reason. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay, one of my question is uh, uh, regarding the benefits coming out from the scholarship. You mentioned about uh, what you will get from it. Mm -hmm. uh, can you think about the benefits that you can share with the others, with your environments, with your colleagues, with other people? Uh, what do you think about that? So, uh, first of all, I think that the team I work with, for example, in the field of photography or media, would benefit greatly because uh, after visiting such places where teamwork is uh, a fundament, uh, for example, Google or LinkedIn, I would uh, learn perhaps new techniques of team working and have a better insight on the social uh, activism. But also uh, my colleagues from my school, I would be happy to take photos and uh, tell them more about what I saw. Uh, of course, in the scientific field, I uh, would probably give a presentation or a speech um, to share with them all that I learn and so that they can have the same perspective as I could about, for example, studying abroad or the opportunities that they have abroad as well. 
Mm -hmm. And second question from my side, you mentioned in your motivation letter that you took part in the Oxford debate, yes, in Bedgosht. That's true. Uh, could you specifically uh, describe your role? Because I understand there are teams, yes, delegated yes. from different schools. So what was your particular role in this um, in this debate? Uh, I We have uh, participated in three debates. And uh, Oxford debates are this kind of debates where we have four speakers. And each speaker has a role in the team uh, to convey the message. And in two debates, I was the second spe speaker, meaning that I was the one to deliver our argumentation uh, and to describe fully the topic that was discussed. And in the last debate, I was the first speaker. And my role was to sort of build a model of a world that we are debating in, because uh, in Oxford debates, it is important to settle down uh, our main reasons why we are debating, about what we are debating, and to introduce uh, people from also other team, uh, what are our um, views and statements and how do we perceive the world that we are debating about. So uh, that was my impact. I was an active speaker in that tournament. Okay, thank you, Alicia. So maybe um, uh, we will move to uh, feedback from your presentation. Uh, so, Daniel, if you can start with the feedback. Uh, thank you very much for the presentation. Uh, what I really like is that the fact that uh, uh, you know uh, at this age who wanna be in the uh, in the future. So uh, uh, that's very good. Uh, Mm, and I, I hope that uh, you would be uh, working on your dreams and uh, you will achieve uh, all the goals uh, you have uh, set for yourself. So, uh, best luck for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Camille, please. Uh, Alicia, I'm also impressed uh, by the fact that you already know uh, your future. It's It was not the case in... in, in uh, in, in in my case, so congratulations on that. I think you are also a very active person and uh, it uh, has two sides. On one hand, it's, uh, make, it makes your personality much richer and uh, your experiences broad-based. On the other hand, it can be a problem when you want to focus on your uh, specific field that you choose because the uh, uh, difficulty of each subject subjects today requires very <laughs> deep interest in the field. So I think uh, this is a, the, the biggest challenge that I see for yourself. Uh, I couldn't completely understand uh, how uh, or to which sphere of your interests the trip to uh, Silicon Valley would uh, fit most, but I think uh, I keep my fingers crossed for your development because you are a very talented person. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, uh, I agree with my colleagues. Uh, regarding your presentation, it was very organized. You also demonstrated some emotions. Uh, so that was active interaction uh, with you and between us. Uh, that was uh, really good. I uh, appreciate that. Um, uh, it, it was also very good that you addressed that you are thinking about to be a doctor because from the motivation letter, from Sorry. my point of view, it was, ah, languages, okay, politics, geopolitics. So that was not clear for me. If so I can say something. You uh, I just... well this, yes. Uh, and I also, let's say, that's, uh, <laughs> that's very good that I'm thinking about the, the spe specialization, yes. Uh, my son, who actually studies uh, medicine, uh, he's on the second year, he doesn't know what to choose. So, <laughs> you know, a well-focused person. Uh, so thank you very much for your time. Thank you for the presentation. Well done. Oh, thank I'm you. give you feedback within two weeks' time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.